welcome back to my channel um if you are not subscribed please hit the subscribe button below and if you are subscribed then hello how are you all right so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i styled and how i did my first quick weave um it is a wig so yeah let's just get started all right so in the beginning i am going to be using two plastic caps i've already placed the um closure on the wig cap and everything i sewed down the closure i'm not gluing it because it's not going to work like that so in the beginning you'll see that i am finishing up sewing the closure just making sure that the knots and everything are in place so that you know my closure is flat if I don't have flat closure, then the whole wig is trash, okay? So, right now, you see that I am going to the end of the uh, closure and just making sure that everything's tight. And I'm going to um, knot the end of the thread three times. And this is just to make sure that the closure is secure and so that it won't, uh, you know, unravel when I brush my hair. And then the hair onto the wig cap. So right here, I'm measuring the width of my track and my closure. I mean, <laughs> the width of my track and my um, mannequin head because I want everything to be even. So right here I'm using Super Hair Blonde gl uh, Glue. So it's a super hold. And you know, when I was using this glue, it was, you know, it's, it's real good. Like, I've never used glue before, so this is new to me. I don't really know what I'm doing, but hey, okay, it's working. So I take the glue and I go from the beginning to the end, and then I make sure that I press it on there really hard and I make sure that it's not moving and it's in place because if I don't make sure that it's in place it's going to slip off and then right here I'll take my blow dryer and make sure that it dries faster and the warmer the glue is the quicker it'll uh, stick to the cap so it's like it's hotter so it's kind of like wax and then the way I glue my uh, tracks well, I've never glued them before, but the way I thought about gluing my tracks was to glue half of it and then once that dries, glue the other half and then dry the rest of it. And right here, I kind of saw that I didn't put enough glue on there, so I took um, the end of a pen and put some glue on it and did it like that. And now I'm going back in with my dryer. So you guys should know what I'm going to say now. Um... This is one, I'm doing one track and then I'm going to start and then you're going to see me um, go in and just do the other tracks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm going to butt in and out in places that I feel like I should butt in. Okay. dryer while um, trying to let the tracks dry with the glue on it because if you're combing through you know how you when you do a wig and you like to comb through the hair just to make sure everything is straight and neat if you comb through the hair and the track slip then you have to start over or you have to pin the hair up and go back and put glue back on there and that's just too much like I don't want to get glue on my hair I don't want to get glue all over my hands it's just messy you know So 
so during the clip of me trying to record the whole thing my camera actually died so i just decided to do half of the wig and i came back and i'm almost done y'all so i also did a custom color um this is a mm, i forgot what kind i think it's a honey i tried to make it a honey blonde okay i don't necessarily know or remember if this is a honey blonde because i colored this hair probably two months ago but yeah uh, my camera died and i'm basically in the middle of the wig and it's going pretty good so far you see i have a little um white patch right there but i'm gonna fix it you know i just space out my tracks because the look i'm going for i don't want to have all of that hair in my head i want it to look as natural as possible even though it is a wig so, natural wigs over here, please, for a thousand. Okay? Okay. So, anyway, um, I just used small pieces of tracks for the center of the wig. And, I mean, it worked out. You just, when you're, when you're trying to glue tracks onto a cap or make a quick weave, the quick weave it's gonna look cute at the end but when you're gluing it down it doesn't necessarily have to be 100 percent perfect as if you were sewing it because when you're sewing it a lot of people don't like to, don't like to cut their tracks so you have to make sure the tracks are flat when you're sewing them even when you're gluing them you're going to make sure the tracks are flat but you cut every track because if you glue tracks and don't cut them then they're gonna look ghetto as hell and they're not gonna lay down okay so anyway i'm just finishing up right here and just making sure that everything's dry and neat so that my tracks won't slip out because i don't have time for that no loose tracks all 2019 honey and i am sick so i might sound a little funny okay <laughs> But yeah, so here we go. I also, you know, measure my tracks before I glue them down because I'm not about to glue them and then cut them. So I just make sure they're at the they're centered right, and then I take the the pin, pin it down. And I just get to gluing, you know. These pins are really, you know, useful, really. done and I just make sure that everything is dry and in place before I actually put the tracks at the very top so here I am finished and I'm just making sure everything is nice and dry nice and tucked you know no slippage no loose glue or anything I see y'all see a few spaces in there but you can't tell after I've gone through and brushed it out and it looks really good you know my first quick weave I'm excited I love it and here I am spraying the closure just to make sure the part is straight and where I want it at and everything and so that the part lays down when I get ready to put my wig on and well, I was really having a hard time but I got it so all right babes that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video you know thanks for watching you know after this like subscribe to my video tell your friends tell your homegirls